Hello Panthere! In this video I will show you what does it mean that the motion has a complex angular velocity. <clears throat> First, I will write uh, the interpretation in terms of the velocity vector as uh, given as a complex number. So let us imagine in, in, uh, in, in a case where uh, whether there is uh, where there is v proportional to z as i times omega where omega is real this motion represents a circular motion this is this is not so complicated to see because the velocity vector is always perpendicular to a radial vector but what does it mean when omega is complex uh, we can just write that v is uh, i times zeta times z, where zeta is is equal to some omega plus delta times i. What does it mean that there there is omega and delta? So uh, it's very easy to to show that if I substitute in this expression of complex angular. Uh, velocity that means that there is i omega z minus delta z that means that the velocity has two components has two components so whenever you have this uh, radial vector z there are two components one which is perpendicular and there is uh, omega there is omega angular velocity and the and the the, the velocity is i omega z and the other one is uh, parallel to z vector which is over there which is minus delta delta z what kind of motion is this let's see because omega and delta are held constant this angle which is com this is the total velocity and this angle is constant this angle is constant but which curve has its uh, angle uh, between velocity and radial vector constant well that's a geometric or logarithmic spiral spiral because logarithmic spiral has a property that the vector from oh this is this should be tangent vector uh, this, this vector alpha is the same no matter the location and also uh, there is a self similarity you can see so we can write r as a function of phi r as a function of phi radial distance this is uh, just a real number as some r zero times a to the power of minus phi because when you move with angle phi the 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 curve will shrink uh, by some factor and this factor is the same uh, adding another the same angle so it has to be this way because phi is uh, <coughs> linearly dependent on t we can write this as some r0 b to the power of minus <coughs> to the pine uh, b to the power of minus a t because this this is omega t and a to the power of omega is b defined as this way and this can be written as r zero e to the power of minus uh, because any b can be written as e to the power of logarithm of b <coughs> so this can be written as e to the power minus beta times t times t this is the expression of of for radial radial coordinate and you can see it's a damped exponential is or just uh, exponential but what is the relation between beta and delta actually beta is equal to delta why because this velocity which is over here uh, has uh, its radial and perpendicular uh, uh, radial component uh, and perpendicular component for a radial component we can clearly see radial component 
that the radial components is exactly velocity of of r so it's derivative of r it's the velocity with in radial coordinate which means that this is derivative of this which is simply minus minus beta minus beta times r0 r0 e to the power of uh, minus beta t and this is and this is uh, this is again this is uh, minus beta times uh, r and you can see that r velocity is minus delta r and there is minus beta so from this uh, from this you can have that uh, um, that uh, beta is delta so delta is exactly beta so this oh, this is r of t is <coughs> r0 e to the power of minus minus uh, delta t okay well uh, there is another approach to this <coughs> and it goes like this because delta is uh, is uh, um, a ratio between minus uh, radial component of V divided by <coughs> R which is this divided by R that means that this is minus this, this, this can be written in this manner in this manner and uh, you can then and there is this in, in some delta t region and you can this this can be rewritten as r uh, t plus delta t is some r of t times 1 minus delta uh, delta delta t and this expression means that uh, when you have some radial distance in the next time it's a multiple so that means if you have timeline from uh, let's say t is equal to 0 to t is equal to t and you can divide it in n separate pieces where delta t is defined as t over n that means this expression gives uh, after repeated multiplication r of t is equal to initial r times 1 minus delta and this is t over n to the power of n and this for large n n is approaching infinity this is just uh, the definition of n exponential so this is this is just uh, r e to the minus delta t and again beta is delta so this is the the meaning of of beta so again this motion with uh, complex angular velocity is is, uh, is just motion along this uh, this spiral logarithmic spiral with uh, uh, angular velocity which is constant constant angular velocity what can I do with that uh, again you can imagine a problem where this can be useful uh, let let us let us write this this problem you have uh, some bob attached to to a spring this problem it's well known to you I've showed that in the previous video and the problem is this the motion can be viewed as uh, for example uh, this motion is uh, not uh, driven by any forces it's just this and there is uh, this equation of motion which was stated in the previous video and it was minus 2k times k is the spring constant m is the mass of this bob and y is displacement from uh, the position uh, no, not initial position but the stable equilibrium position so this is 2 delta m v minus oh is equal to m times <coughs> acceleration and because this motion is damped you can imagine that uh, this curve which is uh, which describe the motion of damped uh, um, bob on the, on on the spring can be viewed as in the correspondence as the projection of uh, uh, motion along 
along uh, logarithmic spiral because this motion exactly produces this kind of curve because its its uh, envelope is showing that in a time uh, in the same times it uh, goes with the same damping constant or same ratio of uh, smallness yes the ratio is the same uh, with the time so this is and, and for this is also the same this is this is this property is called self similarity for velocity and acceleration you have to use another property because you know that velocity is uh, i in this kind of motion uh, in this kind of motion velocity is i times zeta and times z uh, we can write them zeta times z but uh, what what the, uh, what is the acceleration what is the relation for acceleration well if you uh, if you look closely in this in this in this graph you can see that if you if you take this vector this velocity vector and put it put it here and if you take this vector and put it over there and this vector and put it over there and join these these points the resulting curve this curve is curve of velocities so this is velocity curve is also is also another uh, logarithmic spiral why because this uh, this is this is again due to self similarity and moreover because this angle is constant uh, the the angular velocity is the same and also because due to the self similarity and same ratios of r and v at uh, the same times that means also the uh, delta constant which is uh, decreasing constant or damping constant is also the same so that means that a acceleration which which is indeed over there has the same angle and uh, for this is just i zeta times v the same equation as before same is in this is the same as in a singular motion for omega because here you have a is uh, exactly i times omega times v because the same argument holds there is v vector here and in this point there is another vector in this direction so this is this direction and these points form another circle so the argument is all it's completely similar completely same so for this i you can write this expression for for a and this is v and if you substitute in in this equation and if you consider k divided by m defined as omega zero square you will get for zeta that zeta is equal to i times delta plus square root of uh, omega squared minus delta squared uh, this, there should be plus minus plus or minus but i will write just plus and this solution we have obtained it before but we have uh, substitute this as a comp in a complex exponential which is very dubious and it has very uh, awful not so uh, well understood meaning in in the terms of high school mathematics so i prefer that meaning should be derived just from this logarithmic spiral uh, correspondence so if uh, angular velocity is complex that means that this damping coefficient this, this damping coefficient delta uh, means that the, the curve is shrinking with a velocity pro proportional to r with the con proportionality constant is equal to delta and uh, it's rotating along this omega zero squared minus delta uh, squared and there is uh, there can be written a correspondence between these two which is that uh, y y is um, just some constant a times because there is the damping constant so it, it has to be minus um, delta t uh, and then square root uh, and then cosine combination of cosine and sine which defines two of the solutions so it's cosine uh, square root of uh, omega squared minus delta square t plus um, some an, another constant e to the power of minus delta t sine of uh, 
omega squared minus delta squared t. This is this is this correspondence because this should be like a spiral with this omega angular frequency and there are two solutions in real variables cosine and sine and there is a damping there is a, this uh, diminishing constant or uh, decreasing constant uh, de delta so it has to be in this way in this way so next uh, problem we can we can sort of it's this kind of pendulum but uh, we can add a force in this uh, in this uh, not pendulum this spring problem we can add another force which is uh, moving uh, this this bob and we can because we know what uh, the meaning of uh, the complex angular velocity is we can just assume that the force is also looking some kind of this in, in this fashion because in the previous video we have shown that why in in this in uh, in, in the previous video when force is uh, harmonic this this was that uh, y was equal to uh, gamma divided uh, times f divided by divided by uh, divided by uh, capital F which is the maximal force and uh, gamma was uh, gamma was uh, a constant defined as minus f divided by m divided by uh, omega uh, omega zero squared minus omega squared minus two delta i omega this was the constant and this is this is the constant which describes uh, when you have um, just a force which is uh, circular and there is uh, there is the projection of this is is this this force diagram in time then the the position of y is described also as a projection of circular motion and there is this motion in the fashion of uh, in the description of moving along logarithmic spiral you can imagine that uh, the force is also moving in a logarithmic spiral like like this there is force moving in logarithmic spiral and uh, the diagram for force is looking some some kind of this and the displacement is also just a spiral and there is some f moving along the spiral and there is some y along this spiral and the meaning or the solution for this can be uh, viewed as if uh, this omega capital omega which describes uh, which describes motion of this f is also complex so when omega is purely imaginary for example where omega is some constant i times for example gamma so that means that the force is actually just diminishing exponentially so the force diagram looks like this this is just some force you can you can clearly if you substitute in here gamma the constant of multiplication com complex number it's actually not complex uh, or not imaginary at all because this is uh, omega zero squared plus omega squared oh plus gamma squared i'm sorry gamma squared plus because this is i times i two delta gamma so and this is a real number so that means that there is unique constant of proportionality between f and y so the, uh, between between f and y so that means that uh, uh, there is n no phase the phase shift there is no phase shift and uh, because this this is this is real constant so uh, and there should be and you can also imagine a problem where omega is not imaginary you can combine it as in in this diagram uh, to be imaginary plus some real part no problem with that so i think i uh, described all I have had to say so I hope you enjoy this video and maybe in the next time so this video is like alternative uh, description of uh, complex exponentials because in this video I uh, I had not used complex exponentials at all and I've devised another like a method to how to you how, how to you what, what does it mean to motion has uh, complex angular velocity.
So I hope you enjoyed it and see you next time.